Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici, welcome my friends, my name is Vincenzo Guida and welcome to my channel, Fountain Pen Therapy. This is my first episode and in the next several days, weeks and months, and hopefully years, my goal will be to celebrate and share with you my passion for fountain pens and fountain pen writing. Over the years, fountain pens have, for me, become much, much more than a hobby or something that I collect. They are part of my daily professional career and provide me significant personal joy and comfort during my time of leisure. In an article I read in Psychology Today, Vivian Wagner, PhD, writes, Research has shown that writing by hand aids and facilitates memory. We learn and retain information more effectively when it's processed through handwriting than we do by typing. I mean, that is so true. Living proof of this is the use I make of pens during my professional daily life as a trial lawyer. Does this mean that I don't use Word or Excel or electronic agenda software, etc.? Of course not. But there is not one day that does not begin with me sipping on my cup of espresso, writing my daily to-do list with a freshly inked fountain pen on exquisite, smooth Japanese fountain pen paper with inks that flow and mark your pages with stunning colors. There is something so real and cerebral about such a basic routine. For me, it becomes a source of inspiration and structure that same article speaks of fountain pen writing as a kind of meditation. Some speak of a source of relaxation, personal wellness. We've used the words pleasure, health, and calmness. Others write that writing with a fountain pen releases stress and provides relief from repressed emotions. It's sort of a catharsis process. Thus, it is not only extremely cerebral, but the joys of writing with a fountain pen stirs your creative and artistic juices as well. Whether it's crafting your to-do list, writing notes during a meeting, or doodling, sketching, drawing, or scribbling your private thoughts on your, in your di daily journal, fountain pen writing is, in my view, a definitive form of free therapy that we should all take advantage of. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what this channel is all about. For those of you who are experienced fountain pen lovers, I will try to inform you and share with you my thoughts and experience, and hopefully I will offer a new perspective. For those of you who have yet to enjoy the art of fountain pens, I hope to convince you of the benefits, joy, and pleasure that you too can experience. My goal will be to convince you that behind every written word, with a fountain pen is more than just the word itself. It's the art of every colored line, every curve and stroke. It's like a paintbrush on canvas. You leave behind much more than the written word. This brings me to introduce to you the first series of episodes that will introduce my channel. These introductory episodes bring me back to where this passion all started. It's only, about, I would say, about 10 years ago. I was visiting a small pen shop and I was curious and I entered and there before my eyes was a pen that I immediately knew I needed to have and frankly the rest was history. That pen shop was special and this brings me to a confession that I must make and this from the outset. Full disclosure, I have a bias for Italian pens. Yes, that pen shop was in fact in Italy. But more than more so, that bias extends even further to the region in Italy that is my birthplace, the Campania region, or more specifically, Naples. I was born in the popular tourist destination of Sorrento, a small town overlooking the Bay of Naples and one of the main towns located south of Naples. Sorrento is the first major destination we visit as we vi wind ourselves down from the city of Naples down the southern coast heading towards the equally famous Amalfi Coast where one finds the beautiful and picturesque towns of Positano and Amalfi and across the waters the beautiful island of Capri. From the very beginning of my journey in this wonderful world of fountain pens 
I quickly realized that there was an interesting connection between my place of origin and the industry of fountain pens. Yes, it was that pen shop that I visited many years ago that started it all. Italy has for decades and continues today to produce high quality fountain pen manufacturers. The Made in Italy tag that we find and cherish on many other products, as you know, is a symbol of style, quality and originality. But when it comes to fountain pens, that branding has a special connection to my Neapolitan origins. It is that connection that I propose to explore with you in the next several introductory episodes. The region of Naples has and continues to be, in my view, the home of pen makers that have for decades dominated and continue to dominate the craft and art of pen making. And so shall commence our journey, and I sincerely hope that you will allow me the pleasure of informing you and hopefully entertain you in the process. So thank you very much, and see you all in the next episode.